Hello, this is Barbara Calvano, and welcome to Let's Ask the Angels on Blog Talk Radio. Join me now for guidance and messages from the divine to support you on your path to living with mastery. everyone, it's Barbara Calvano and welcome to Let's Ask the Angels here on Blog Talk Radio or any other platforms that you listen to me on replay. Welcome. And for those um, who are on call right now listening, I'll be getting to you shortly to give you your mini reading here on the air. And um, I'm really excited about today's show. I'm going to be talking about how to create your best year for 2024 and give you the messages from the Rose Oracle for the next week. Um, A couple of things look forward to. I'm going to be having guests this year on my podcast. I'm going to be giving classes that you can purchase so that you can take whenever you want Uh, to learn more about how to connect with your guides, your angels, and how to have a more grounded, um, peaceful life during these times. And all that's going to be available soon. Um, Also, I am still working on my book for those who are interested in that. So to really find out and to stay updated, please follow me at uh, bcalvanocoaching.com. And uh, then you'll be receiving my uh, weekly or twice month emails to get all the information. That's the best way to stay in touch. So I think that's about it. And if you're new to me, I am, um, again, Barbara Calvano. I've been doing this here on Blog Talk Radio since 2013. And I've been working here in the New York City area, giving angel card readings, healing sessions, uh, speaking at... uh, fairs like the New Life Expo, the Awaken Fair. And oh, that's another thing. I'll be doing public speaking here in the area. So, and again, if you're not around here, I will be doing things more online, live. So again, the best way to know when that's going to happen is to stay connected to me at my website and subscribe with your email. So that's pretty much it. And yeah, I am... um, Uh, certified in many, many modalities, uh, professional card reader, but mostly I've been taking for the past, now going on 40 years, so of personal development courses. So I really know a lot about relationships, how to be in your life. So I do talk about life coaching and also how to connect to spirit. So that's that's what I do. And if you want a personal one-on-one session, You also find that at my website. You can purchase anywhere from 15 minutes to one hour, and we can work on uh, an issue or concern that you have that you'd like to have a lot more freedom with. Okay, so that's all there. Now, how to create your best year. And most of us know we make uh, resolutions, right? Or we make some new um, statements about how we want things to go. And that's great. And that's brilliant but it's not always easy to carry it through. You know, I've been talking about connecting with your angels for, again, since 2013 on the air here. Um, And what I came across with in the past couple of weeks is this. I've been talking about angels, but more and more importantly is connecting with your guardian angel, your personal guardian angel. And as much as I love to teach about ascension and really connecting to the higher, higher energies, which is all great. And it does really help us with our intuition. Connecting with your guardian angel is probably the most important thing one can do. Because when we do that, we're connecting with, you've probably felt it already, that feeling when you know you've got it, when things are going to work out, you just have that feeling. Or if you don't don't know 
for sure if it's going to work out. You have that feeling that you must take that action, right? And that's your guardian angel really being close to you, basically whispering those ideas into your ear and heart. When we follow the guidance of our guardian angel, that's where we create the best life. And sometimes it doesn't look like it because it looks like, oh, my God, my guardian angel, my intuition, I'm getting the messages to quit my job or to leave this relationship or to really make major changes in how I communicate with people or, you know, just changes that for sometimes it's difficult for people to do. It's much easier to stay, you know, a little bit under the radar, um, not be too much in life so that nobody can comment and we can't make any mistakes. But in order to have that great the best 2024, what we're going to be asked to do is to step out. And to step out, meaning take a look at your life, my life. Where do we do things almost like a robot, rote? Or you can even say we phone it in. We know something so well. We know our job. We know certain relationships. And we kind of just go through the motions. And they could be, we could be, with integrity, we were, we're on time, we're, we're polite and all that, but we just phone it in. We're just doing a replay of something that we figured out that works. But in our heart's heart, we know that time is running by. <laughs> Each year goes faster and faster. Will this be the year that I actually break through and do that thing that I care about, that I'm passionate about? Will this be the year? And it could even be there's a dilemma, there's a family situation, and many of us may have this, where there's energies that really, really drain us, and we don't know what to do. And some people might say, well, it's your family, and it's your blood, so you must accept all of this. Well, there's nothing that's written anywhere that says you must suffer. So one of the things we might learn how to do is how to take better care of ourselves while we are in these earthly relationships. And when we learn this, it's remarkable. If we don't, we could really go to almost our dying breath, our last breath, and think back and say, wow, my goodness, why didn't I get help with this thing? Why did I, why did, or even God, goddess, your higher power may ask you, once you cross over, why didn't you ask me for help? And it can be for anything. And that's what I really love about working with the angels. It doesn't replace you doing the work, that's for sure. But it's about paying attention to the love, the message of love that has come to protect you, guide you, save you sometimes, and give you those stepping stones to do what you have to do. I mean, back in 1977, I left Dayton, Ohio for New York City, and I did not get the blessings of my family. You know, it was quite interesting. But I had graduated from school in the arts, and I wanted to come here to pursue that. And and it just wasn't in my personal family's plans that I leave. And so many of us may have a situation where we want to break away from certain traditions. And it might be still be difficult, even in 2024. But we all are sovereign beings, meaning we are independent. We're born into this world with a purpose. Your guardian angel was designated to you the moment you were born and is with you even through many lifetimes. So it's as if you have this protector, this energy of love surrounding you, that when you learn to listen, you I'm not going to say you're not ever going to make a mistake or things are never going to not work out. But it means that you're going to have, you're going to feel good, even in the midst of feeling anxious and stressed and all that. So you don't necessarily have to go take a hit of weed or take a, you know, this or that, you know, have a drink or anything to relax or, or starve yourself so you won't feel or overeat so you won't feel. You know, we do so many things as human beings. But what it does, it gives you that beautiful sense. It's almost like you look out the window and you're walking, you see a beautiful bird. And you just connect with the beauty in that 
personal private moment where you see an animal, a pet. You know, there's something that just makes you just take a moment and feel connected. So you really feel connected when you seek the company of your guardian angel. So what do I mean by that? Your guardian angel is with you all the time, probably within, like, I want to say three feet, six feet of you all the time. So the more you acknowledge its presence, the more you're going to sense it even more. It's like tuning into the channel with your remote. You know, you tune into the channel and you acknowledge it. So again, from 10 years, I've been talking about connect with your angels. You know, it's really important and it is. And But when I would say angels, like 100,000 angels would show up on either side. And that's a wonderful feeling of protection and comfort and guidance and clarity. But when you hone in to your guardian angel, your personal guide, your personal driver for your life, it is quite, quite miraculous. Will you see this angel? You might. I don't necessarily see mine. I feel the guardian angel. Do you have to know its name? No, not necessarily. I don't know my name of my guardian angel, and that's fine. But some of you may actually hear when you ask the name. You may actually hear the name. Whatever comes to your mind when you ask a question, that's it. So it's very different. It's very unique for each person. But the energy connection between you and your guardian angel can help shape your year, shape the next 12 months. So when at whatever you're up to, and so many people who've called in, hundreds of people have called in over the past 10 years, or listened to the show, it would be thousands. The deal is this. When you connect with your personal guardian angel, you don't have to worry about all the 12 chakras at this moment and all the other ascension energies that I love to talk about. It's kind of like a fascination. You don't have to go to that PhD level of understanding energy. If you truly get the possibility of what it's like to have that friendship, that true connection with your guardian angel, I'm going to tell you all your choices, actions that you take, may be very, very different this year. So it would be like this, guardian angel. Thank you for being with me today. And this is the month that I would like to really get healthier. Thank you, my guardian angel, for coming with me to the gym or to my yoga class. Thank you, my guardian angel. You're just acknowledging the presence of a huge energy of love. And when you and I are surrounded by a huge energy of love, how do we act? I'm going to say we probably are a lot more peaceful. We're not so stressed about things. You give a pet, you give a child love. They're grounded. They're peaceful. They're aligned. So when you tap into that incredible energy of love, your guardian angel, in whatever you're going to do, guardian angel, please help me write this paragraph and this letter I need to do, and it's a piece of writing I'm working on. Guardian angel, please help me have the find the right words to speak with my landlord about my rent that I that I don't have. So, even though we do have specific archangels, and I've been teaching that also for the past ten years, that works beautifully also. But there is a specific special feeling of the guardian angel's energy, which which I, for me is like those times when I had to make a decision, like move or change, you know, change your major in college or choose the, the person that you're going to marry. That could be kind of stressful. But I didn't know it, but my guardian angel was right with me because the feeling I had was like, yes, yes. And yes, there's a certainty that is so graceful. It's a wonderful feeling of being, of knowing. Does it give you the answers to everything that you're looking for? No, because we're here in 
on earth. It's a type of school, a mystery school, people call it, where we're here to learn. So we're going to have to go out and do things and try things. What's sad is that many people get caught up in the memories of a past, sometimes a very frightening past even, where people, lower energies were abound. See, there was a lot of um, abuse, humiliation, terror. And that framework we carry into the future. It's easy to do because it was so painful. So we kind of memorize it and we use it to protect us so we don't make any mistakes. Like how am I going to create an incredible 2024 when I, when I have this in my past, this happened to me and this happened to me. These people did this and et cetera. But when we can find a way to, okay, these things happened, we see them. But we have our guardian angel to say, fine, okay, those things happen. And what do we want what do we want to do today? Maybe we gently want to step forward into twenty twenty four. You don't have to like leap. <laughs> Grand jeté in ballet they call it that split leap. You don't have to do that. But you can step forward. And this does not replace all the incredible types of therapy and programs that help us all here on in earth in the earth school to help us transform those things that have happened in the past now how do we address what's going on in the world right now that's not so great if we stared at it too much it will rip us apart our heart so we look we see we notice we acknowledge the best thing we can do number one is as they say, the phrase, be the change you want to be in the world. Be the change. Be the courage. Be the love. You don't have to say anything. You can just be it. What do I mean by be it? Sit for a moment and just let yourself feel the peace. Ask your guardian angel to help you be peaceful in the next few minutes, the next few hours of the day. So there you have the guardian angel's total support with you could be in so many things. You may need to find, like, why is my business not going the way I want it to do? What is the, what's the next right action I should take? Just sit for a moment and see, hear, feel what your guardian angel and angels want to tell you. It might be sign up for this course in business to help you do this work on the Internet. Or it might be take a moment and step back. You know what to do, but maybe you're a little lazy. You know, maybe you just don't want to do the work. None of these are moral proclamations or judgments. They're just saying, again, we're just here on earth trying to make it. All, as they say, walking home together. In the end, we're all going to be crossing over on that bridge. But in the meantime, how can we make what might be one of the more hmm, kind of highly energetic years in a long time, 2024, here at least also in the United States. But then, again, look around the rest of the world, right? There's a lot of things happening. How can we not let those things take our energy away? How can we stand up for ourselves, speak up for another, be the most powerful we can be and have the best life. And for many, it may require definitely letting go of patterns and the pattern of denying yourself, denying yourself, doing what your family has done for 50, 100, 200 years. That's what people do. It's, It is something to create your best 2024. You will have to step out. You will have to step out. And the more risks you take, but knowing you are held not only by the grace of your guardian angel, but by your ancestors, by those 100,000 angels that are on either side of you, 
by other beings, incredible benevolent beings, grace that are all around us. Do you have to know them all by name? No. So you might say this. You could look, you could say, well, I don't believe any of that. And I am, yeah, whatever. So you could choose that. And what I say, if you choose to be cynical, which I've been before in my 20s, people presented me with many options, and I was cynical. Well, I don't need that, and um, and I don't even need to look. So that might cost you your ticket, <laughs> your golden ticket of having an incredible 2024. So Your earth angels also, they are people and they're all around you and they show up as people who are suggesting things to you. And usually they're things that you're not used to. So you're most likely going to say, you may be cynical, say, no, that's good for you and other people, but it's not for me. Um, You know, I have a person, they have an addiction and they choose, well, I'm, I'm, I don't need to go to a 12-step program. I can do it this way. I can meditate for five hours. I don't need to go to that program. And this is one of my personal pet peeves, but I've seen millions, not say thousands of people have an incredible recovery, meaning find peace and serenity by choosing one program versus doing another where you isolate So take a moment and see how much of your life do you do to stay away from people. And it's through people we find our grace. And when I say it's through people, it, it is through being with people. I can look back in my life and I can see who I surrounded myself with in my 20s, in my teens, in my, you know, 20s and 30s and 40s. And who I surrounded myself with, I either rose up to their vibration or I went down, you know. And, you know, some of us think, some of us found our humanity by feeling bad. That's a whole topic. So you don't have to suffer anymore. You don't have to suffer. So knowing that, to create your best 2024, be courageous and willing to look at what needs to change and take the tiny steps to change them. And that is the key. That is the key. And call on your angels, your archangels, if you do that already. But really take that moment to engage with your guardian angel for this year. And it's basically just acknowledging, I have a personal guardian angel that's been with me since inception, since the moment I was born. And has been with me for other, even other lifetimes. And they know what is the best for me. And that knowingness is like a feeling of, it's such a feeling of peace. It's such a feeling of being held, being held. So at whatever age, whatever you're going through, whether you're sick, whether you're healthy, anything that you're going through, knowing that you are not alone for sure, absolutely for sure. But when you start visualizing and seeing all the good that is around you, and you practice this every day, this awareness will help you when you're trying to figure out a business problem or something that you need to say to your partner. Why? Because you will always be coming from the highest good for yourself and for others. And that's when things move with fluidity and flow, when it's for the highest good. So that's my small take on how to create your 2024. And now I'm going to do the um, messages from the Rose Oracle. And the visual of uh, Rose kept coming to me as this is the moment where we are really blossoming and blooming. And again, if you only looked at all the turmoil and the crisis of the world, which needs to be acknowledged, but if we let ourselves go fully into that, we are not going to be able to create what we need to create in this world. We're not, we have to be able to have detachment and yet know what's going on. If it is within our type of work, 
or what can we do to activate more towards the highest good of humanity, you will know what actions to take and not to take. So we want to preserve our energy and we want to really focus and channel all this incredible life force energy that we have right now and not let it dissipate, not go back to ways of being from the past year and past years. You get upset, you stop, you complain, you whine, you find somebody to hear your whining and complaining, and you just do that thing over and over and over again. You don't bust through. And there's a way to bust through so that what you see is all right. I've been through this. I know how to do this. And your knowing this, again, comes from your connection. That You've got this incredible guardian angel, like, like this great coach standing by the sidelines with the playbook in his, his or her hand saying, all right, we're going to have you run 10 yards forwards and then throw the ball or something. You know, you've got this great partner. Okay, so I'm going to go to the messages now from the Rose Oracle. And again, the vision I saw was we are, we are blossoming. Our hearts are blossoming. And what do you need to do when you see a beautiful flower? Probably nothing, but continue to water it. And take the time to really embrace the beauty. This is your heart, your life, in whatever shape and form it looks like right now. But really know that in its, this moment, in this quiet, tiny moment, in this tiny moment, everything's all right. And then if there are things that you need to do from this circle and the next circle and the outer circles of your life, we begin to see that we can handle this. Go by the thought and statement that God, Goddess, never gives you more than you can handle. And that sure may not look like it. But what I can say as I approach my birthday next month of being 70, so I speak as an elder and from my wisdom and experiences, you can find a way. And the more you approach it from this positive manner, I'm telling you, the peace comes and the answers come. So the first card is the bloom. Creations realized. Right time, harvest, celebrate. This card is all about reaping the reward for what you've created. Again, what at ever stage it is. You may say, well, I haven't created anything. Whatever's going on in your life right now, you have created. Okay, we're not going to judge it. We're just going to say this is where it's at. You want something different? We are going to work with our angels and guardian angels and create that. Dreams manifesting into matter. It's a confirmation that you're currently in the bloom phase of your cycle of growth or that you're about to be. So again, some of you may feel like you're like, I'm ready to break up this year. And some of you are like, I'm just so stuck. You're still blooming. You're still, the cells are moving. The energy is moving. The bloom is when we're at our fullest. The sun is shining, things are bountiful, and we're at our most expansive. The deep roots of our dreams have been realized. So you may have had ideas, and they may not be in physical form yet, but those ideas are so real for you, right? Those dreams are so, they're realized in your heart, in your mind. So the deep roots of our dreams have been realized. We're blooming. We're We've made it to where we long to be. We're likely visible and out in the world. Life is often adventurous, energetic, positive, and good. So this card comes with a message to embrace and enjoy this moment. Right now, today, in this moment, whatever is going on, if you can learn to do that moment to moment, and that's why it's so highly, highly recommend yoga that includes some meditation in it because you learned it like be here now, like not tomorrow, not yesterday. Celebrate what you've created. Enjoy what has come to you. Even if all it is right now is that you've got a roof over your head, you've got some heat, you have somewhat of an income, right? It's better than a lot of what's going on in the world. Revel in it. Bask in the beauty. Drink in the nectar. Be nourished by the sweet scent of what's now in the physical. Enjoy the harvest. Stop and smell the roses of your life. Life is cyclical. 
and the bloom won't be at its fullest forever. So here's the deal. You've got a dream. You've got a goal. That is your rose. That's your rose. If we don't take any actions on it, again, for one more year, what happens to that dream? It doesn't disappear completely, but it kind of goes in the background a little bit. So enjoy the harvest. Enjoy what has been presented to you as these ideas. Stop and smell the roses of your life. Again, those incredible ideas and feelings that you've been presented to you. Your work through the seasons of your life has brought you to this point. Don't take the bloom for granted. Enjoy it while it's here, but don't hold on to it for too long either. Let it be what it is in its fullest. And when the time comes to return the petals to the earth, you'll know when that that is and do that too. So I let the blooming happen. I resist the urge to hold back. I celebrate all that I've created. Enjoy my moment of blooming completely and fully. Now, again, the blooming could actually be finishing and enjoying what you physically created or could be that incredible idea that you've had. You spend time thinking about it. It's your bloom. That is your rose. Now, the second card is the wild rose. And here we go. And the pictures of these are here on the uh, blog talk page or at my website, becalvanocoaching.com. So do it your way. Embrace your uniqueness untamed. So if someone says that you're not normal, say thank you. If someone says that you're doing, um, that you're doing what you're doing isn't normal, say naturally. <laughs> the wild rose knows that no one rose is the same as another. She doesn't try to bloom in a neat row according to a schedule. She doesn't open and close according to who walks by. She trusts her timing and she blooms with wild abandon. She's resilient. She knows who she is or he, if you're listening. The wild rose knows her true, unique nature and she wants you to remember yours too. She knows that what makes you wild makes you free. Now, wild, wild, what do we mean by that? Do something that you that's out of your normal way of behaving. Like when I met my husband back in 1988, I went to a healthy singles party at the Limelight here in New York. I wasn't going to singles parties to meet other people. Nowadays, they have the apps and everything. Back then, we physically had to go to these uh, places. So it was uncomfortable. It was really uncomfortable. But I, I got some support, meaning I got a class that helped me look at what holds me back. And I just did the exercises. I did my homework. And by the seventh time, it took me seven times of going. So it didn't happen on the first time. By the seventh time, I met my future husband. And we were married the following June. So it was an experience that was not comfortable, but I was committed to it. And I got support. So card comes with an invitation to do what would make you feel most free. So what would make you feel most free? Sometimes people just need to cry. Maybe there's just like an emotion that has been so locked up. Some people get that out by doing exercise, hard cardio, boxing, or even, you know, really intense yoga. Or the help of a therapist to talk about it. So, you know, all these things I'm talking about are doable, but we do have these earth angel earth angel businesses, earth angel around us to help us move the energy. We are energy. To trust in the very thing that makes you stand out. To realize that you were never meant to fit in. You were never meant to grow in a perfect, cultivated way. You were never meant to bloom in unison with someone else. You were never meant to be captive or controlled. The people who take a job because it was recommended by a parent but they hate it and they're doing the job and they're miserable, but they don't have the courage to say, this is not for me. The wild rose within that person would say, you need to tell the truth. Maybe you can transform it within the, the company, go to a different part of it or change careers. It is not a big deal to change careers, people. We're in a time where 
let's just say money can flow in so many different ways. But if we hold on with such severity, such fear, we may very much um, close our own energy, close our own oxygen channel. We might be dead while we're doing a job. We may be miserable in something, but hold on because we don't want to disappoint someone. Nature is full of diversity. It's imperative to its survival, and it is to ours too. So be who you came here to be. Express what you came here to express. Sing the song that you came here to sing. Together, the wild ones will be the ones who set us all free. So what do we mean by that? When you break free from your natural way of doing things, you break out of your barriers, your box, you bust out. You know it shakes up things around you. It could be your family. It could be your partners. It could be people at work. But it's an incredible energy. And they're watching. And some may be thinking, I wish I had the courage to do that. But they may not in this lifetime. So I free myself of what keeps me captive. I allow the unique wildness within me to be free. Again, there are so many people who, to, who can support and coach us to do things that are difficult, anxiety-driven, and instead of um, living in fear of pleasing the past, we can make changes. So the final card is this, and I'm going a little longer on my timeline today here, but that's okay. Whispers of Mother Earth, creativity, ideas, inspiration, artist, writer, channel. There are creations seeded within you, planted before your birth. There are unborn possibilities yearning to be woven and creative solutions waiting to be realized. Songs of the ancient earth humming through you, beckoning to be sung, new consciousness that longs to be written into matter. Surrender to the creations whispering you forth. Again, really is about following the messages. Now, if you've called in and you're listening and you want a reading, you can probably tell I don't do fortune teller readings. I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen to you. I'm not going to tell you that. I can help guide you, and I do that in my private sessions. But the work, 99%, 99.9% of the work is done by us, and nobody can tell you what to do. You have free will. But when you tap into connecting with source, with energy, with love, It's as if you have the pipeline, you've discovered the gold pipeline where ideas flow, inspiration, courage flows. You end up doing things you never, no one in your family would ever see you doing. You don't even see yourself doing it, but all of a sudden you're doing it. Like me, I was standing on the stage of Radio City Music Hall, speaking in front of like 4,000 people several times. Who was this quiet super shy person from school. How had my life changed when I listened to my guardian angel? So there are creations sealed within you, planted before your birth, surrender to the creations whispering you forth. Perhaps they're calling you to reweave the web of life in some small way. Creativity and intuition come from the same sacred place that they can't be reproduced. They occur when we find ourselves Flowing with the rest of life. Flowing with the rest of life. And how do you know you might not be flowing? When our energy becomes stagnant in our body, we can get sick. Blockages of energy. So that's when you might experience, I'm not feeling flow. Earth is a planet of creativity, and yet so many of us have forgotten how to truly create. So much of humanity has been raised to consume, so we're good at like looking at other people's creations. We're so focused on more, 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 that we've forgotten how to grow sustainably. Our consumption is killing us. So trust the seeds that have been planted within you. Somewhere along the way, we stop seeing ourselves as artists, creatives, poets, and singers. Yet to be human is to be creative. You know, like the kids in kindergarten, first grade, what are they doing? Everybody's painting, everybody's singing. Nobody's saying, I don't do that. And it's sad if they might, but pretty much everybody is just, it's a free for all. We're all painters. We're all singers. 
And how do you carry that into being an engineer, you know, in your 20s and 30s? Hey, who's making all the inventions and creating the new futures? Those who are in touch with their childlike manner and imagination. So yet to be human is to be creative. It doesn't matter what the result may be. Carve out time to express your soul through your creativity. So if you've always only worn gray and black, you might want to wear a pop of color of pink, red, or green. You might not think, well, what's the big deal? Just look at where you might be more playful at whatever age you might be. Don't wait for life to make you have to be that. And that will happen. That could very well happen. Emergencies happen in life. You know, really in, in intense emergencies happen. And guess what happens? People get really creative. Right? Well, we could do that without having to have a life-threatening emergency. So what does your soul most yearn to create? And I'm going to say a great 2024. So now I'm going to do um, the short mini readings, one card here on the, on the air. And if you want a 10 card reading, of course, you can book that time with me. And it's at my website, bcalvanocoaching.com, Barbara Calvano here. Now I'm going to do the readings. And again, again, I don't do, if you're new, I don't do uh, readings about other people. This is solely for you, an energetic reading. And I have several decks here today in front of me. And I also have the Guardian Angel deck I was guided to bring out for um, this special occasion. Okay, so the first caller is area code 951. What is your name and how can I help you today? Hello there. Hi, it's Nathaniel. Hi, Nathaniel. Hi, Hi. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Happy birthday. Oh, no, not just going to be <laughs> another next one. <laughs> Okay, so shall I just pull a card for you, or do you have a question today? Uh, you know, i try to pull a card, I guess, yeah. Okay, terrific. Okay, so this one speaks. So what I have for you is interesting. I have a six of fire, and here it says success and recognition and self-esteem. And I hear some, I might have to put you on mute. I hear some scratching and moving around here. Oh, oh no, sorry. I, I'll, uh, I'll be quiet. <laughs> okay, so I have six of fire. And if it says a little bit more about this beautiful card, it says victory, success. This is your day in the sun. Whatever goal you've had your eye on is going to work out beautifully. There's no doubt that you will be able to realize your dreams if you haven't done so already. I'm going to have to put you on mute because I hear that clashing around here. Okay. So if you've been praying for someone to come and help you solve your problems, then your answers are about to be answered. Your prayers are about to be answered. This helper may not do all the work for you, but will be able to point you in a direction that will dramatically lighten your load. So that's what I like about this card. It's six of fire. And the angel message is, as your guardian angels, we also celebrate your success with glee. We also have friends in high places. So if you are looking for someone to help you, all you have to do is ask, and we will make the angelic introductions. Additional messages are congratulations, receiving an award or promotion. You've been ma- making wise choices, a sure thing, good news, and victory that comes with hard work. So that's what I have for for you today there. All right, my friend. Well, that was super. Thank you so much. I appreciate you and your show. Thank you, Nathaniel. It's great to hear from you. All right. We'll move on to the next caller, area code 203. What is your name and how can I help you? Hello there. Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi. <laughs> Hi. It's um, Pat from Connecticut. Hi, Pat. Good to hear from Hi. you. It's a great show. It's wonderful advice. It's helping me a lot to remember. We forget Good. so quickly <laughs> yes. what, what, what we should be doing. It's always great to, to hear things again and again and again. Um, I'm going to be having surgery on Wednesday, minor surgery on my eye. Okay. And I've also got 
some commitment. I just want to make sure that I'll be able to take care of myself well enough at the same time. Um, help. I've got a. I'm looking for someone to help me get to a house to take care of dogs. Okay. Uh, I just want wanting everything to work out. And okay. I'll have to be responsible myself. Mm-hmm. Um, but I hope. I guess I'm praying to guardian angel. That was really interesting. That's usually the last on my list. So I really. I know. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So I hear. I hear yeah. a lot in the background. I'm, I'm, I okay, hear a lot in the background. The okay, so okay, so I'll pull a card for you from the Guardian Angel deck. Yeah, every little move you make, it's like we've got the mics on here, really okay. loud. We pick, pick up everything. So here we go. Okay, this one looks for you. All right, Pat. Oh, I love this. You have the Empress. Oh, and this. Guardian Angel is holding the baby in her, uh, she's sitting on a throne, uh, like a silver throne, and she's holding the baby. So you, it's like you're, you're the baby, and it says creation, abundance, and action. So a little bit more on this card. Beautiful. This is a call to action, which you are taking. You have shown faith in your dreams, acquired the skills needed to attain them, and listen to the guidance of your angels. Now it is time to step out into the world and accomplish great things. If you show determination and devotion to your plans, you will be rewarded with abundance and prosperity. Seeds planted now will grow and provide a wonderful harvest. Career opportunities should be pursued with confidence. This card can also reflect a great love of hearth and home. Questions regarding motherhood, children, or even creative endeavors are often indicated. And there may be a desire to surround oneself with beautiful and luxurious things or budding interest in becoming an artist. We are watching you with immense pride and love. Have no fear, for we are helping you every step of the way. So I think that's what we're looking for here. To have no fear, and for we are helping you every step of the way. And, yeah. And I, also I it says... Say- I'm sorry, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Please a little more, a, a love of nature and gardening and the ability to abundantly create. So all those things in your mind's eye that you know you want to create, you know, if, if you know, the plans of how you want it to look, just visualize the highest good for yourself, the perfect time to enact a plan, which you are doing, and pregnancy or the desire to give birth to a dream. So, you know, a dream of better health as you are you know, taking action with your surgery and also in getting the required support that you need. So I love this because there's a big, big golden heart on this card. And it just looks, Mm -hmm. it really feels that you've got this incredible, incredible, gorgeous guardian angel holding you like so protectively in nature. Nature is all around. So, you know, the more you can tap into that moment of peace, that you see you would like for all this to turn out, well, put some more energy into that beautiful plan of just the peace, the peacefulness of it all working out. Right. Okay? Right. Yeah. Thank you. That's really You're beautiful. You're so welcome. Um, You're so welcome. That, uh, Google that image. What deck are you reading from? This is the Guardian Angel deck by Radley Valentine. Oh, oh wow. That's really mm-hmm. lovely reading. And yeah, I am struggling with fear because this is the third time. Um, okay. So that's trying to creep creep in a little bit, and I think the fear is making me no- more nervous than the fear itself. If you understand yeah. what I'm saying. Oh sure, totally. I'm, let, totally. I'm letting it come in. It's kind mm-hmm. of disturbing me that I'm I'm letting it that it's there. Yeah. More than more than the fear itself, and I was listening to what you were saying about that too. So thank mm-hmm. you so much for the whole. Yeah. Um, program and also this i'm very very grateful oh you are so welcome pat take care and happy new year okay. happy new year to you same to you happy new year okay bye-bye because the next caller is area code 917 what is your name and how can i help you today hello there hello how are you doing my name is Tim. hi and uh much like i think the other call is there hi 
uh, the things I'm trying to manifest I uh, have not been asking my guardian angels for assistance. So I'm a, I'm a little excited because I want to start doing that. Uh, okay. I'm uh, making time, you know, even though it's only a couple minutes, 10, 15, trying to still the mind, breathe, and just asking for some guidance. Um, any tips or uh, any tips appreciated uh, okay. for any guidance? So I'm having a little difficulty hearing you. So what could we do to make it better? Let me see. So what? Okay. Maybe. Okay. So um, basically, is, there, is that's this better? better. Oh yeah, this is 100 percent better. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you need me to repeat? Yeah. I don't know if you. Uh... Yeah. Oh, sure. So no tell, problem. Tell, tell uh, me. Tell me your name again. Sure. My name is Tim. Tim. Great, Tim. And I see that you said you had not been really engaging with your guardian angels as much, but you've been practicing a little every day. Um, and that's perfect. Yes. That's perfect. And what's great is that the guardian angels is always like hanging around us anyway. They're just waiting for us to connect. You know, it's like, it's, a, it's like a Wi-Fi that's right there. You know, So we just have to like say, <laughs> all right, I'm ready to connect. The guardian angel Wi-Fi. I like that. Yeah, you know. I like that. So, so is it just that simple? I don't need any names. I'm just like, hey, guardian angels. Yeah, or... it's so simple. You know, it's like when the sunlight okay. comes down from the sun, we don't say, what is your name, sunlight? You know what I mean? We just we yeah. just can take it in. We just take it in, right? So I'm going to pull this card for you. And one of the things I learned is that a little bit goes a long way. A little bit. It's like you're either connected to your Wi-Fi or you're not, right? It's like you don't need five hours of connecting to your Wi-Fi, you're connected, right? So that's the whole beauty of this incredible power. And you have this wonderful card, Eight of Fire. It says speed, activity, multitasking. So what more do we need by that? It's a very interesting picture. It's got eight, like eight... Um, like baton, not batons, throw swords, but they're not swords, but they're what are they? They're like spears going into outer space, like like eight rockets with a like a clear crystal ball at the front of it and wings. So they're all going into space. So it looks like bead of connecting to because um, they're coming from Earth and they're going into the universe. So it's this interesting. It's like eight birds flying from Earth into the sky. But yours are going connecting way up. So I like that it's connecting to it's connecting to source. It's connecting to um yeah, source, which is, you know, connecting to God, higher power, goddess. So uh, I it's a really incredible picture. Let me see now. And what else it says is that you have oh, okay, so you you might have too many things going on right now. It may seem as though you're trying to juggle dozens of tasks at once. So if it's not physical tasks, you might be thinking about a lot, a lot of stuff all at once. If your life has felt as though it was moving in a slow motion, that is definitely about to change. <laughs> While multitasking like this can sometimes seem stressful, this card represents the good kind of stress. Your to-do list is filled with the brim with things that you want to do. The real challenge is choosing what to do next. I love this. So this card also indicates events that unfold very quickly. Often this is due to an unexpected message or new information that you hadn't expected. At this time, it's very important to communicate accurately and precisely with those around you. So that's your key. It's important to communicate accurately and precisely with those around you. So it really is about saying your truth and what you need. Take a deep breath is your angel message. We know you are feeling anxious in the face of all the opportunities before you, but when you're tempted to give in to overwhelm, remind yourself that you're actually very blessed. Focus on the dreams coming true and ask for our assistance. Remember, we guardian angels are amazing multitaskers. So I love this for, you know, many times, I know when I have a lot of things I want to do, I can get overwhelmed, but this reminds me also that it's great to have a lot of ideas. <laughs> it's great to have a lot of projects. and But we can only do one at a time, right? And by doing that, 
you're going to send that energy to the other ones. It's going to like um, support everything else that you want to do. So it says moving boldly and swiftly forward, needing to get organized, travel by air, possibly, and sudden flashes of inspiration. So that's this beautiful card. Again, it looks like, you know, eight like uh, spears. That's what it is, spears with angel wings on it. And the front of it is a like a, a round ball that uh, could be pearl or crystal. And they're, it's, they're just moving like in, they're like radio waves or there's like waves of inspiration or energy moving up towards the heavens. So I like this idea and I like the number eight for you. So it might very well be that you have eight ideas going on right now. And what we're getting today is that they're all great. They may not all happen at the same time, but do one at a time and they're, it's going to impact all the others. Does this make sense? Uh, it makes perfect sense. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate you know? it. You are so welcome. So that's it for today. I have to close out the show. And hopefully we'll hear you guys next week when I'm back on. So take care. Thank you. Have a great, great day, everyone. And we'll see you next time.